Well, hello everybody. Here we go. We got our color. The beautiful red and black and then the other fuchsia is underneath. And we are underway. So, just real quick. So, here is what I was talking about in my last video. Uh, the crochet set that I got from Craig. Um, so, here it is. It's got all the crochet hooks. Not all of them, but... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just like the, um, the description says, if you go to Amazon, it's got the pair of scissors. And they work really well. I like them. And then it's got some stitch markers and some yarn needles. And they are ergonomic and... That's the brand. And it's they're really nice hooks. They really are. They serve the purpose well. Now, here is another set that I ordered. Custom. It's custom made. So, as you can see, all the different crochet hooks. No, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. But, so, you just pick the, come on, pick the needle you want. And you just slide it in. There you go. And you crochet away. And um, as you can see, I'm, I'm pulling on that quite hard. And it does slide out a little bit. But you're not going to be pulling on it like that when you're crocheting. Um, it is ergonomic. I like it. And I got a really good deal on it. Um... But it's got, oh, I should show you this. I should, I should, I should. Now. See that? Now that is the engraved. It's engraved. And that's really nice because it is not going to rub off. And when I ordered them, it did not take long to get here. And now here is, um, we'll get to that in a second. Now here is my set of boy. That's my set of boys. The steel and the the basic um, crochet hooks that you normally would use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight original hooks. The others are steel, and that is more for thread or yeah, thread. So I have that set. I have another set that I got from Kevin years ago. I'm talking years ago. He got it for me for Christmas one year. Um, it was like right after we got together. Um, he bought it for me. And it was ergonomic for back then. And it, it was a really nice set. Now this is um, Genuine Leather. And this was not cheap. But these are wooden 
crochet hooks. And it does have a little pouch where you could keep like a sewing needle, a pair of scissors, um, stitch markers, you know, just the, the basics. But these are all wood. And as you can see, how deep it goes up, it, it resembles a Susan Bates. Um, so I struggle when I use these. But the, they're nice. Um, my only worry is the writing is like printed. So I assume over time that's going to wear out. And let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hooks in there. And I believe this was like $150, I think. But there's that. Now, this is Chow Goo. No, it is not a knitting set. This is a crochet set. But Chowgood makes a wonderful knitting set. Love Chowgood knitting needles. But these are wood. And they are crochet. And these two are similar to Susan Bates because it's got the deep cut. And here's the cord. Um, for these. And I do have a hook, a hook gauge and there's the stopper. So you can make this, you can make these this is an um, interchangeable set. You can make these cords as long as you want or as short. But you just screw them in like so. I'm not going to dig out the cords to tighten them. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Um, then you take one of these. And you can also, you don't have to just use these for Tunisian. You can use them as um, regular crochet hooks. Just don't put the cord on. But if you're using these as uh, Tunisian, you just screw these little ends in. Just like so. And it tightens up. It's got to be, like I said, I'm not getting the cord out. This is just a representation. So right there, I can fit a lot of a lot of stitches on this. Um, and that's the one thing I like about this style of Tunisian hook is because I can actually um, make it however, like if I wanted to make a king size blanket. I wouldn't have to do it in panels or in moffets. I could literally put enough cables together to actually do an, an entire king size blanket if I need to. That's the one upside. Uh, that's. <laughs> I am sorry. This is like my um, third video of the day and I want to get um, I was hoping to get four in before I went to bed but this will be my last video because Russ is tired and I want to go to bed but I, like I said I wanted to get this um, don't yell at me for my watery eyes they're burning I'm sorry but anyhow I just wanted to show you guys some of the tools I use for my crochet. 
and these uh, twist cords, these red twists from Xiaogu, I love them. They do not tangle, and as long as you don't crimp them, um, they hold their. Sh they don't hold the circle shape like a lot of knitting cords do, or a lot of Tunisian cords. They don't do that. These are relaxed. The only way that they won't be is, like I said, if you really kink them, really cinch them and kink them. Um, I don't have any issues with these cords when I do um, Magic Loop. They keep, you know, because when you do Magic Loop, you start out and your cords are kind of like really... You're really bending your cords. But I've never had a problem, an issue, with any of my Chowgu cords. I, I love Chowgu needles. They had come out with a special set. And I wanted that set so bad. Now, the set was $300 for the knitting set. But it was all stainless steel. I wanted that set so bad... I could not get one. And the last time I knew, um, I asked Chowgu um, Corporate, you know, when they're going to be having more out. And they said that they probably would not because there are some, they had some issues with the sets. So they probably would not be um, making them anymore. So whoever got them was the lucky ones that got them. But Russ really wanted a set. It was it was knitting. Oh, well. What can we do? Oh, my goodness. I am having a lot of fun um, doing these pre-recorded videos because it's, it's almost... <laughs> It's almost like a race. It's like, oh my gosh, I've got X number of videos to do. And it's like, I only got this many days. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? So, I figured if I can do three a day, I'll be all right. But we will have to see. Because tonight, being Friday night, you guys won't be seeing this until... Let's see. I got tonight's... <laughs> I got tonight's video done. And... So that would be Saturday morning. This video will be Sunday morning. Then I have to do Monday, Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and Wednesday morning. And then I can throw in um, a yarn video. For my last day. Which I got. I got to make some of them up too. Because I think I've only got two left in my queue. So 
So we'll have to look and see. And there's that one that I got to figure out yet. And this morning, I fixed myself some um, chicken salad, and I had a chicken salad sandwich. Um, everything was Weight Watcher approved. And I'm not sponsored by Weight Watchers, so I got to say that because I used their name. It'd be nice to have a sponsor, wouldn't it? But then would that be more work? It's like, no more work, no more work. Now, if I stayed home and did this, you know... As my full-time job, that wouldn't be so bad, but trying to work 50 hours a week and then you got um, four hours of videos. But lately, my videos have been running along. I'm going to have to start charging. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to charge. But I will say one thing. Um, doing all these uh, pre-recorded videos, this blanket's getting some attention. It's getting some love. That it is. Oh, was just checking the curtain because the sun will be coming up. And I just want to make sure the curtain was, because when that sun um, comes through that window, it's bright. I got some I got some looking around to do. I need to finish cleaning off this table. Because I want to do there's some other videos I want to get done. But this table, me and Kevin worked on it um, Thursday night. Not very long, but what we did get accomplished um, was nice. I will say that. Me and Kevin had a busy night yesterday. There was a lot that we had to do. But we got it done. We got, we got, 
done what we needed to get done, so that was good. Junior running up and down the stairs like a little toddler. I shouldn't say toddler because toddlers can't go on the stairs, but. He's soon to, I th he might be one now, I don't know. I can't keep up with them kids. My little um, ornament's getting full with all the little clippings. That it is, that it is. Um, I wish. Um, I could snap my fingers and have this blanket done. At the same time as having all the videos to go along with it done too. How awesome would that be? Where's Bewitched when you need her? <laughs> hmm. Come on. My hook starts going faster than my fingers. I dropped the yarn, I picked the yarn up, I dropped the yarn. It's like a game with the uh, baby. You pick something up off the floor, hand it to them, they drop it. And then they start laughing. I got more exercise that way. Now I just ripped out. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> No, 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 no. Come on. Oh. You would think I just started to learn to crochet. Wrap once, not twice. We're doing a double, not a treble. How many um, sets of crochet hooks do you have? You can let me know in the comments. I got a really good... Here's Addy. Click. These are knitting needles, but they are the squares. 
and they got little ridges on them. Oh, I'd love them. Uh, Kevin got me this. These. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so. Kevin got me this set for my birthday. He ordered them from the yarn shop. Oh my goodness. I can't talk. I can't crochet. What's next? I really like those. That's a nice um, knitting set. And then I do have... Yes, indeed. I do have 9-inch circulars of knitting needle. Um, to make um, hats and small things. If I would just um, stop being lazy and pull out my double points. Yes, I have double point knitting needles. And I used to um, love, I have a whole, I got a whole set of, of knitting needles that are um, double points. And they're in every size. And they're made out of wood. I like wood knitting needles. Metal's okay, but um, I got to be careful with metal um, because metal's really slick. It doesn't grab the material, the yarn. So things just love to slide around. And I usually end up dropping stitches. After this video, I got to figure out, do I want to do a fourth one? Or do I want to call it a quits for today? We're almost getting to the fuchsia. I call it fuchsia. It might not be, but... I call it fuchsia. Man, we're already at 29 minutes. Dang. I know I talked about my crochet hooks at the beginning, but...
Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we are on the fuchsia. But here in about 10 minutes, I will stop and pull out the next two colors for tomorrow, tomorrow's video. Hi, Junior. Day boy. Hi, baby. Are you getting underneath the table with Daddy? Hmm? Here, precious. Come here, baby girl. Junior. Him and precious are playing. Boy, I've got my nail keeps hanging up my yarn. Some drink, some drink. I had bought stuff. I think I told you about that. I had bought stuff for the countdown box. And now I can't find some of it. Man, have to reorder it. Looks like it. My yarn split. I I've not had any trouble with yarn splitting. Not once. Unless it's my own accord. This yarn is nice. can't wait to um they get their new colors in they've they've got um dk weight in the tango poets um collection but i want the um sock weight
I do, I do, I do. I need to um, send her a message. Um, Aberdeen Wool. And see if I can buy six. Besides the countdown boxes. I want to know if I can buy six extra. Because I need 16 for my countdown boxes. But then I want six more on the side. That will not be cheap. We are at 37 minutes. Round this corner and get past it. And then I will call it a, a video. And I will pull the next two colors. Blanket's getting big. I'm loving it. Come on. That's why I have these corners. Oh. Now we're moving. So now it's a good time to stop. Uh, we got a couple of minutes. We got a couple of minutes. Talk <laughs> talking to myself. I bet you guys just shake your head when you listen to me. <laughs> Well, at least it's good, clean comedy. That's for sure. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're at 40 minutes. So I will do this last stitch. Okay, so 
All we got left is that right there. Not very much. So I did pretty good with talking about my hooks and the knitting or crocheting. What we got, what we got. Oh, there was two stuck together. There's this one. And there's this one. So there's our two colors. So here was the first one. It's um, light browns. That was our first one. Then we've got this beautiful black and white. So, there's our two colors. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Okay? Bye.